Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will have a video on creating an interior for a daily planner. Um, I believe this is a, a good type of book to create close to Q1. And at the end of the video, we also go through some profitable keywords that you can use for your planner. Uh, I will create a book with a six by nine inch interior. If you go into Amazon and search for the interiors for other planners, um, they are quite simple and they have very similar things, um, which I'll probably just write down here quickly. So a lot of them have a schedule for the day. They also have a to-do list. Some of them have a water intake tracker. And also meals, um, maybe some notes to write down, priorities for the day. So these are just a few things that a daily planner would have. So firstly, we want to create some sections. Let's see what kind of templates we have for daily planners. So as you can see, they have um, a lot of templates that already have sections created. So we are going to try to use some of these templates um, to create a daily planner interior. So I quite like this section just because it has all the times that I want. So I will copy this part of times. I like it to be more on the grey side, so maybe like that. And I also like this water intake section, which I'll probably put at the bottom. So just try to find a few templates um, that you know you like the design of. So I like these squares and I like um, these shapes next to it. So I will put this on the side. I want to change these colors to also a gray tone just because we'll be printing this in black and white. So we want it um, to have a gray scale to it. Okay. There we go. And I am also going to create some headings. So this is the daily planner. So you guys need to try to find a font that you personally like or you think suits the interior. Right now, I'm just going to try a few and just see how, how they look. I don't mind this one. This one looks cute as well, so I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to call it daily planner. And then I also want to make a hmm, a goals or priorities sheet. And I'm going to do that by using these shapes. I'm just making three of these. Maybe we'll make these colors a bit lighter as well, just because you want the pen marks to show. Also change this to a gray color. Okay. And then what else do we want? Priorities, notes, we might put a notes section. Um, meal tracker, top three priorities, must do. So we'll do a notes section at the bottom. I'm going to put the water intake section here and maybe I'll just create a shape. I'll use this shape and create a note section. So you can see that we're getting inspiration from the templates that Canva has provided, but we're not copying them. We're just, you know, using bits and pieces and trying to get inspiration and changing everything um, to make sure we're not actually copying the templates provided. Okay, I think I quite like this interior. I'm just going to put a bit of headings for the sections now. So in schedule, you can make this the to-do list.
Okay, I'm liking how this looks. So this could be an interior for a daily planner. We can even create um, a larger planner that has monthly and daily um, planner interiors. And this could be just one page of that. So it's really up to you. Meals I might just skip, but it's, you know, it's very easy for you to also maybe make this smaller and put a meal section into it. And also here, because we don't want it to go past the bleed margins, I'm just going to make it a bit smaller as well so that we can you know, be confident that PDP won't reject our interior. Make this into a dark grey. Okay, so I'm hoping you guys, um, you know, found this tutorial quite helpful. Uh, it wasn't that hard to do. It was literally just, um, you know, writing. It was literally just, you know, getting bits and pieces of different planners, getting inspiration from them, not really using them as is, customizing it, you know, changing the color, uh, using your own fonts. And just one thing that I forgot to do to add the date which is very important and then use the shortcut L and that will bring up a line and make this a bit smaller I'm gonna make it a bit thinner maybe a two and change the color to a dark gray so yeah I mean I think that looks okay and now let's find some keywords. For the keywords that we will use, I am going to use the magnet tool in Helium 10. I searched up daily planner. I've gotten the keywords. You can see the top products for this keyword. Um, and here are a list of uh, keywords that we can use. If you have the free version, you'll only be able to see the first page and not use any of the filters. Um, so this is probably what you'll see. I'm just going to filter it a bit so that we get better keywords. Um, I want a score of 1000 and a search volume of at least 800 competing products, not too many. I'm just going to do 1500 for now and we'll apply it and let's see what kind of keywords we get. So we get quite a few. Um, day designer at a glance. I believe at a glance might be a brand. So we we'll try to avoid using those. Um, maybe this one, 2022 daily planner, one page per day. That means you'll probably need to date all of your pages um, for 2022. So this will require a bit more effort, but if that's something you're willing to do, you can see that the score is quite high, has a high search volume and less than 930 competing products, which is not bad. Five minute journal is another keyword you can use. Blue sky is also a brand, so let's avoid those ones. Plan ahead planner 2022. Um, make sure the keywords you use are not actually brands. Daily planner undated. Best self planner. Simple self. Maybe not, not the best keyword, even though I know the score is pretty high. Um, Mead is also a brand, I believe. Undated Daily Planner, Simplified Planner. So here are a few that you can use. I'm just gonna to go to the second page to give you guys a bit more options. Um, productivity Planner, High Performance Planner, Monthly Planner. So we would want to date the ones with 2022, unless you wanna make one that's undated. Um, if you go you know, type monthly planner, then there's a lot of options for you. Uh, we, for the ones that don't have dates, you can, you know, do something similar to this. Maybe we can rotate this around, um, make it all black, change the font. We can change the font for these, remove all of this. So this is probably how you would start creating your own monthly planner interior as well. Um, just try to even go into Amazon and do some searches. Look at the interiors of the best sellers. Don't copy them. Just try to get inspiration. Look at the comments um, and the reviews and see you know what 
what some of what some of the negative reviews were and see if you can improve upon them so it's not that hard creating these interiors especially if it's undated and it's a rep repeating interior um, you know it's very easy to create so I am also going to link this page in the description below as a template for you guys to use try to customize it a bit you know put some graphics in or some color in if you want to do that um, yeah so hopefully this video was helpful and you know, happy publishing.